happens. What, shit? Sometimes. Now, when I was a baby, Mama named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. She said we was related to him in some way, and what he did was he started up this club called the Ku Klux Klan. They'd all dress up in their robes and their bed sheets and act like a bunch of ghosts or spooks or something. They'd even put bed sheets on their horses and ride around. And anyway, that's how I got my name, Forrest Gump. Mama said that the Forrest part was to remind me that sometimes we all do things that well, just don't make no sense. Mr. Hancock. She wanted me to have the finest education, so she took me to the Greenbow County Central School. I met the principal and all. I want to show you something, Mrs. Gunn. Now, this is normal. Forest is Right here. The state requires a minimum IQ of 80 to attend public school, Mrs. Gump. He's gonna have to go to a special school. Now, he'll be just fine. What does normal mean, anyway? He might be a bit on the slow side. But my boy Forrest is gonna get the same opportunities as everyone else. He's not going to some special school to learn how to retread tires. We're talking about five little points here. There must be something can be done. We're a progressive school system. We don't want to see anybody left behind. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? He's on vacation. Your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. Mm -mm -mm. You don't say much, do you? slow side. But my boy Forrest is going to get the same opportunities as everyone else. He's not going to some special school to learn how to retread tires. What are y'all staring at? Haven't you ever seen a little boy with braces on his legs before? Don't ever let anybody tell you they're better than you, Forrest. If God intended everybody to be the same, he'd have given us all braces on our legs. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? He's on vacation. Everybody wants you to use their ping pong stuff. One man even left a check for $25,000. If you'd be agreeable to saying you like using their paddle. Well, but Mama, I only like using my own paddle. Hi, Miss Louise. Hey, Forrest. I know that. I know that. But it's... $25,000 for us. I thought maybe you could hold it for a while. See if it grows on you. Don't you be afraid, sweetheart. Death is just a part of life. Something we're all destined to do. I didn't know it, but I was destined to be your mama. Did you lose your packet in the war or something? What did your friend do for the something? What did you do?
he say? Nothing just happens. It's all part of a plan. I should have died out there with my men. But now, I'm nothing but a cripple, a legless freak. Look, look, look at me. You see that? Do you know what it's like not to be able to use your legs? Well, yes, sir, I do. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? You cheated me. I had a destiny. I was supposed to die in the field with honor. That was my destiny. And you cheated me out of it. Do you understand what I'm saying, Gump? This wasn't supposed to happen. Not to me. I had a destiny. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. You still Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. 